The Telegraph fire has left behind a lot of devastation. Fire officials confirming today again. 51 structures lost. And a rancher in El Capitan says he's lost his ranch to the fire. Fox 10's Stephanie Oma spoke with him and is live tonight with more. Steph? John and Christina, I was talking to Roger Dowling as he was making his way up to El Capitan to see what was left of his ranch. He said he was concerned about his cattle. He was going out there expecting the worst, but hoping for the best. It's just like a moonscape. It's so black out there. Roger Dowling describes the devastation near Superior caused by the Telegraph fire. I spoke to him on the phone as he was making his way to El Capitan, where he owns his 2,500-acre ranch. We're going out today to go try to evacuate those and bring in whatever we can bring in. It's just been hard because everybody's trying to evacuate and help, help each other up here. Roger says he's owned the ranch for four years and has worked so hard to get it to where it's at. Uh, I don't know how many cows I have left. I had 80 out there. We don't know. They could be, you know, could be burned up out there. They could have gone, broke through the fence. Uh, we don't. We don't know yet. As we were talking, he was struggling to fight back tears. <laughs> oh, it's so hard to get to where I'm at. It just is hard. Although he's uncertain of what he might find. He's thinking about others in the community and those who have lost it all. To put together a barbecue out here at the fairgrounds, a fundraiser, and, uh, and uh, I'm also going to donate a, a few head of cows if I have any left them for a raffle, so this so that can help benefit the community up here. And Roger says the livestock that have survived in the area are in desperate need of some food. So if you'd like to help out, another way you could help out is donate hay to the Gila County Cattle Growers Association. Reporting live tonight, I'm Stephanie Omo, Fox 10 News.